Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by the Rogue ST Woods and Irons from Callaway. Hi there, I'm Todd Lewis, and this is your Golf Central update. 36 holes in the books here at the Rocket Mortgage Classic at Detroit Golf Club, and a Canadian rookie on the PGA Tour leading the way. It is Taylor Pendrith. And you look at his career journey, he's won twice on the PGA Tour Canada, hasn't won on the Corn Ferry Tour, but did graduate to the PGA Tour card from that tour. He's been dealing with a rib injury, actually a broken rib, that kept him out for about 15 weeks this season. But since returning, he was able to record two top 15 finishes on the PGA Tour, and now leading the way at 15 under par halfway through the Rocket Mortgage Classic. After shooting a 65 on Friday, Pendrith had a conversation with our George Saparikas. With Taylor, consecutive rounds in the mid-60s, we always hear it's hard to back up a low score with another low score. How are you able to get it done? Um, I got off to a really good start again, uh, birdie the first four, and uh, so that was a nice, nice way to get the round going, but I drove it really well today, and um, hit my wedges a lot better than yesterday and gave myself a lot of looks. So um, very similar round to yesterday, I'd say, but um, all in all, yeah, super happy. Been on a nice run since you've returned from injury. You had those four months off. We were talking yesterday with the rib injury since the players to the middle of the summer. What did you learn about yourself during your time away from the game? Just to stay patient, really. I mean, I've had injuries in the past, and I've tried to come back probably sooner than I should have and it's only put me back so this was I mean at least this was a bone issue and it was like I basically had to sit out um, so yeah I didn't hit balls until the week of the Canadian Open um, it was my first time hitting balls so it's, it was a long break and um, but you know it took some time to reset and it was nice for the first little bit I guess but it got kind of boring <laughs> um, but yeah no to be back and, and feeling well and, and playing well is, is great at consecutive top 15 finishes you're leading into the weekend now could you tell that your game is trending in, in this direction where you'd have a week like this so far through two rounds yeah i mean uh i showed up here monday and, and played nine holes and it just really suited my eye it's a classic design and um, i like those kind of golf courses and been driving it well all year really and um, today especially drove it great and Hit my wedges really nice other than 16 but um so yeah i mean i'm not surprised i feel like i've been playing well for a couple of years now really but um coming into this week having two good finishes and feeling very refreshed is is nice you have a new 36 hole scoring record here through two rounds carrying that into the weekend nice plan cool thanks and with his 15 under one back is tony feed who won last week look at what tony has been doing here at detroit golf club He's missed only two greens in regulation in 36 holes. That is best through 36 holes on the PGA Tour. He shot a 66 on Friday. Here's what Tony had to say after his round. Uh, I, I've had some nice stretches. Honestly, I feel like the second half of this season. Um, and, you know, I put together some nice tournaments. Uh, anytime you win, you know, you breed confidence and um, I'm just happy to carry that confidence, you know, from last week right into this week. I know yesterday you said you didn't know that you didn't miss a green until the end. Did you Did you miss <laughs> one today? I didn't get to see every every single hole. Or, yeah. Or we're still on that streak. I was a little more conscious about the green, the green hitting today after yesterday. Um, I missed a couple greens, um, but I think the greens I did miss, I got up and down, which is, uh, which is nice. You and Boyd talk at all about the hitting every green? Yeah, we did, just because I think that was like a milestone for us. You know, it's something I've never done. Um, so it was just cool to kind of go through and talk about, the, you know, the quality shots and the quality of shots I've been hitting. But, um, yeah, I kind of look at it as a milestone. You know, it's, I think it's, it's a tough feat to have uh, out here. And to be able to do it my first time, we definitely had a conversation about it. Does this course just fit your eye? Are you hot right now? Is everything going right? I mean, like, why, why, is, why are, are, we, are we not missing anything right now? Yeah, I mean, I'm missing a lot of putts still, but I, yeah, I'm just, you know, I think I'm just riding some great momentum off last week. Um, and a lot of the things I've been working, I've been working extremely hard on my game really all year. And um, I think I'm just kind of bearing the fruits of the labor I've had throughout throughout this season. And it's coming together for me late in the season. But um, this thing is, taught, this game has taught me it doesn't matter when it comes. If you continue to work hard at some point, I think you can go on some nice stretches. And, and I think that's what I'm seeing uh, this week and last week. I would take a look at the leaderboard. As I mentioned, Pedro leading by one over Tony Finau. Lots of other names trying to 
collective victory. As a matter of fact, five of the top 12 on this leaderboard looking to win on the PGA Tour for the very first time. So a lot at stake happening on the weekend. Here's what some of those chasing leaders had to say. With a couple holes left today, um, I was kind of looking at the leaderboard and figured, you know, if I could make if I could make two, two of the last three, um, I'd have a chance to get in the final group, um, which is where I'd like to be because I think it's just, you know, it's easier to play from from in front there. I, I think, you know, I'm not. I hate to say I'm not like afraid of being near the lead, but at this point I've I've been around a little bit and. Um, you know, any any shot advantage I can have over the weekend is something I'll take. Honestly, never. Uh, my whole life, I've never really allowed myself to to get ahead. I think a lot of the guys who are prolific winners out here will say the same thing. They're they're not really thinking about the win unless it's really late on Sunday on the back nine, and a lot all of a sudden those guys find themselves at the top of the leaderboard and they find a way to close. So, uh, honestly, like even. My mindset coming into the weeks is not to win. Um, I feel like I, there's so much more in my game that I have to progress. Like I, I was joking with Carl. I played like a five handicap on that front nine today. I was blading wedges, flopping drivers. It was, it was gnarly. But uh, it's just cool to see. Like I have a lot of room to improve, and and uh, yeah. So I'm not really too worried about the win. Um, you know, if, if I'm able to get it sometime soon, then awesome. You're still looking for that first, though, right? Don't, yes. Don't you want it? <laughs> oh, I, trust me, I want it more than anything. I'm, I might not seem like it, but I, I'm so competitive, and there's nothing I hate more than losing. So, um, I'm trust me, I'm grinding as hard as I can for that win. But it, it's, it's, I'm not forcing it all, you know. Um, just, I've already, I've grown so much this year, and uh, I feel like I'm putting myself in a good position for the rest of the tournaments, the playoffs, and then hopefully early in the next year. Everything and, and also, you know, we've had another young kid. The last couple of years has been a bit of a blur to me. Don't know if it feels long or just a wash, uh, <laughs> but I, I, you know, it was a year ago next week that I was in that playoff at uh, Wyndham and had the putt to win. You know, I'd love to get back in that position over this weekend and I, I think generally everything has settled down for me and my game and everything is moving in a good direction so if it's not this week um you know it'd be a good goal to try and win an event by the end of this season other news off the golf course bubba watson now officially part of live golf the announcement coming friday during the first round of the third live golf event at trump bedminster watson currently recovering from a torn meniscus and said he will not likely play until 2023. Here's what Watson had to stay, uh, say in a statement. Part of it's going, part of the statement going, I'm excited to announce that I have joined Live Golf starting at the next event in Boston. I'll be a non playing team captain, supporting and rooting on my team until I can get back to competing. My meniscus rehab continues, but I expect to be fully recovered and playing before the 2023 season begins. He went on to say, I couldn't make this move without acknowledging that I am forever grateful for the opportunities provided to me through the PGA Tour and for the many friendships made along the way. Watson, the latest major Masters champion, I should say, to make the move to live golf. That's the wrap on what happened on Friday across the golf world. I'm Todd Lewis, and we'll see you on Golf Channel.